Hi, today I want to talk a little bit about remote learning and how we can help our own children at home access the lessons that the teachers have sent to our kids. Whether you're home because of illness or a storm or any other reason, your child can still access lessons even though they're at home. One of the ways to do that is with Google Classroom. Your teacher will set up the Google Classroom account and your child can access that classroom from home. All you need from your teacher is your student's email and their password. That email is assigned through the school. It's an email that they can't receive or send emails with, but they use for Google Classroom. And whatever email they get assigned in kindergarten, that will last all the way up until they graduate high school. The kids will be using Google Classroom through their whole classroom, their whole school career. And it starts as early as kindergarten. So you need to get from your teacher your child's email and their password. And once you have that, it's really easy for them to access it from home. And I'm going to show you what it looks like from your perspective. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that you're signed into your student's account. This email is coming from your teacher and you can't change it. So once you get that from your teacher, you want to make sure you're out of your own personal account and that you're logged in to your student's account. So simply just put in their email and their password. Again, this password is from your teacher and you can't change it. It's going to stay with your kids forever. Once you're in, you can get right to the classroom. It's going to bring your student straight to their classroom. So you're going to see this. Simply click on it. So once you get into your student's classroom, you're going to see the assignments. Simply click on an assignment, and you're going to see it right over here. So you click on it, and it brings your child straight to their lesson. In this particular lesson, the child is working on um, reading CVC words. So in order to do this, the child will click the movable piece. You'll see this blue line show up. That tells us it's ready to move. And then they just move it to the correct word. Whatever the lesson is, you just fill that you just complete the lesson. There might be um, fill in the blanks. There might be movable pieces. It will vary. Once your student just clicks their way through all the slides, they're ready to turn it in. So they come up here and they close it out and it will bring them right back here. This is where they turn it in. You say yes, but sometimes your student will turn it in before they're ready to actually turn it in. They're not totally finished. No problem. Just come here and unsubmit. And now they'll be able to access that lesson again. Now I'm going to go right back to their classroom. And some lessons you're going to find might be a video. And your student will watch a video. This is a video about polar bears. These big white bears. Once they're done, they just come over here and they say, mark as done. Now, if they wanted to watch that again or for whatever reason wanted to get back to it, again, unsubmit, and they can watch it again. Using Google Classroom is a great way for your students to still access their learning even when they're home. So all you're going to need is that email and password from your teacher. This is a special password and a special email just for Google Classroom, and it will work with your child all the way up until they graduate from high school. I hope that this helps you navigate through Google Classroom. So that's all you're going to need to do. Make sure that your child has a nice, clean area to work at. They're going to need your laptop or your desktop, and they can access their lessons. Remember, 
You are their first teacher and you are the most important person in their lives. Accessing lessons is really important, but the most important thing that you can do for your child if you are out of school for any period of time is to read to them and talk to them. Have conversations about everything. Building up that vocabulary and their language skills is going to help them once school gets opened again. So stay safe everybody and I hope this was helpful.